Question number 111. How many ATP molecules will be produced in a prokaryotic cell by aerobic oxidation of one molecule of glucose? First option, 2, second, 4, third, 36, fourth, 38. In a prokaryotic cell, by aerobic oxidation of one molecule of glucose, 38 molecules will be produced. How? The bacteria are prokaryotes and in bacteria, the aerobic oxidation of one glucose molecule leads to the formation of 38 ATPs as there are no shuttles and the aerobic oxidation of glucose molecules undergoes glycolysis, link reaction and the ETS which leads to the production of 38 ATPs. So the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question. Question number 112, choose the incorrect statement. First option, glycolysis is often referred as the EMP pathway. Second, NADS oxidizes slowly in aerobic respiration. However, it oxidizes vigorously in fermentation. Third, when tripamatin is used as a substrate in respiration, the RQ is less than 1. Fourth, in living organisms, proteins or fats can be used as respiratory substrates. Choose the incorrect statement. The glycolysis was discovered by three scientists called Embedden, Meerhoff and Pannas. By their names, the glycolysis is also known as EMP pathway. So this is correct. Third one, when tripamatin, tripamatin is a fat and for fats, the RQ is less than 1, that is 0.7. So this statement is also correct. Fourth one, in living organisms, proteins or fat can be used as respiratory substrate. This is also correct. The preference is for carbohydrates. If carbohydrates are not available, then the body can switch over to proteins or fats. Second statement, NADH oxidizes slowly in aerobic respiration. However, it oxidizes vigorously in fermentation. No, it's reversed that NADH oxidizes vigorously in aerobic respiration, whereas it oxidizes slowly in fermentation. So, this statement is incorrect. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 113. Which phytohormone is responsible for hedge making? First option, cytokinins. Second, jubilins. Third, auxins. Fourth, ethylene. For hedge making, there should be lateral branches. How can lateral branches grow? When auxin is present, this hormone shows apical dominance. Means it will prevent the growth of lateral branches. When the apical bud is removed, means the concentration of auxin decreases and the cytokinin will increase. It will lead to the production of lateral branches. It means the cytokinin is responsible for the hedge making. Auxin promotes the apical dominance whereas it is counteracted by the cytokinins. So the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 114. A phytohormone responsible for closure of stomata is first option ethylene, second ABA, third auxin, fourth jibalin. It is very easy question in the memory base that for closure of stomata, ABA or the abscisic acid is responsible. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 115. Which one of the following is not a long day plant? First option soya bean, second sugar beet, third wheat, fourth henbane. Long day plant is LDP. These long day plants require a photo period greater than the critical period for flowering. Soya bean, it's a SDP short day plants. It requires less photo period than the critical period. Wheat, sugar beet and henbane, they all are LDPs. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Mm -hmm. 